Darn fool. When he can be resting. What I can't figure, Jack, is whether you like to pester old dynamite or whether he likes to pester you. Oh, that ain't it, boss. Is a dynamite. Every once in a while, we just get lonesome for a fight. Well, whenever I walk by him, I can hear him say, you long-legged maverick, I'll bet I can throw you clear over my head. <laughs> <laughs> so we goes at it again, till he gets plumb disgusted and quits. Until the next time... Oh. Hey, hey, did, did you hear about it? Did you hear about it? They found gold. Gold. Up, up in Dark Canyon, and everybody's gone up there to, to, to stake out the claims. Gold? Yeah, gold. Hey, I'm gold. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't a-going, you went. <laughs> you owe me two months' pay, boss. <laughs> and I'm collecting now. <laughs> All right, Jack. Jack, I'm a trading even. Your wages for dynamite. Sold, boss. Uh, 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 me, me too, boss. I got, I got my own heart. Well, Elmer, I hate to lose you, boys. So long, boys. So long, Bye, Jack. Jack. what claim jumpers get here. Now, beat it.
Say, what's your game? This is my claim. I just staked it out. Ain't so. I've had my eye on this claim ever since I came into camp. I staked it out more, more than two days ago. Where's your monument showing you filed on it? Well, I reckon maybe you kicked it down the same as I was doing to yours. And now you're trying to swindle me. Swindle is a mean word, partner. Last claim in this camp that ain't staked out. My poor little kid coming up here, and now it ain't no use. What's that you said about your kid? Poor little shaver coming up here, counting on me having filed on a claim and earning pay dirt. An old feller with a bum lung. Can't get anywhere with a kid these days, mister. <coughs> Say, if there's gold here, there's probably enough for both of us. How about you and me going into partnership, old-timer? Partners? You mean we'll both file on the claim together? Sure. Of course, I want to be protected on account of the kid. Oh, sure you do. Jack Tarrant of Panama, and, uh, and, uh... And Jeff Sellers, Waco, Texas. Say, I squatted an old cabin up the creek. You can come up and bunk with me if you want. Uh, that's fine. Uh, of course, I've done the same thing for you. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. what it is, I'm telling you. Well, I don't blame you, Jeff. You're being imposed on. Don't I know it? Here I've been working like a dog for three months. We've took out a hundred ounces of gold, and he hands me out a measly two or three little ounces at a time. Well, half but yours, ain't it? Sure. But he says I can't be trusted with it. Now you know what I know. I ain't no drinking man. You're a fool for standing for it. Say, I got an idea. You come with me. You're a man after my own heart. <laughs> what you should do, Jeff, is sell up. You've got a perfect right to do that, ain't you? Why, Kramer'd give you two, maybe three thousand dollars for your hand. 
$3,000? Yeah, more than that. You can force turn to come to with half of the gold, seeing you are selling out. Sure. I'm entitled to it. You sure are, old timer. Now you step right down there and like it back. Be right there. Sure. Here's the dough you paid old man Dolan, boss. Good work, boys. Well, that's another good claim we got for nothing. If the sheriff don't go and get any funny ideas. <laughs> but you worry about that. Come in. Hey, Kramer. Got another deal on for you. You know that old... Come in. The sheriff see you. Well... Tell him to come in, Dad. Put up a chair. Well, I'll open it. Well, I reckon I'll stay with that. Oh, hello, Sheriff. Oh, Will you join us? Just a little friendly game? No, oh, thanks, boys. I'm here on business. Poor old Mike Dolan has been murdered. Dolan murdered? What do you think of that? Gee, yeah. that's tough. Why, I just bought his claim from him last night. That's what I come here to talk about. So how did you pay it to him? Well, I gave him $2,000. Currency. Well, that's what poor old Dolan's been murdered for. Well, that's too bad. Well, Sheriff, I hope you get the man. Well, you can count on us for any help. All right, thanks. I call it that. I think I'll stay in that big card. Say. You know that drunken old coot, Jeff Sellers? Well, he had a quarrel with his partner. And I got it fixed so we can buy out half of his claim. <laughs> well, the old double crosser. <laughs> Well, we'll just make out a bill of sale and buy out that old hypocrite. Yeah. Did you mention any particular amount? Yeah. I told him you'd be willing to pay about two or three thousand dollars. Besides, he'd get half of the gold they got. Well, seeing as how we're going to get it back again, we'll be generous and give him the three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget, boys, when you go to collect, be sure and get the gold, too. Don't worry about that. What's the idea of blocking up the road? Sorry, ma'am. Thought you was a he. Oh, I didn't think I looked that bad, mister. Oh, I, I don't mean you look bad, but ma'am, miss, I think you look doggone good. That ain't no job for a lady. Let me try my hand at it. Oh, oh thank you. Hey, you. Get out of here. Go on. <laughs> oh, shut up. Mister. You'll get in, I'll twist her neck. All right. Sometimes 
she acts real stubborn like. Golly, Denimite, we never even found out her name. Oops, you don't go that way, we go this way. Sign right there. And there's your $3,000. Again. Well, good, good. So long. Have you seen old Jeff Sellers? Yeah, he's upstairs. Thank you. Well, does it look all right to you, Mr. Sellers? It looks legal. Now, Jeff, what are you up to? Hi, Jack. That's my partner, Jack. Hey, do you mind telling him this is a private room? That little business, Jack, is still there. What do you have in him signed? I'm buying Mr. Seller's share of your claim for $3,000. No, you're not. I've got a right to sell if I want to, ain't I? Sure you have, Jeff, when you sober up. Now listen here, cowboy. You ain't doing business with my partner when he's liquored up. That's more than it's worth, Jack. I'm all right. I'm perfectly sober. Come on, Jeff. You're not selling out today. Now here, Jack. What? Now she. I know. I'm all right. Never mind that. We'll get it to sign it tomorrow. That's my kid's automobile. Your kid? Is she a girl? Sure. Ain't I ever told you? How old is she? Oh, she's about 20 or so. Come on. You can't let her see you like this. You're going to be sober when you meet her, whether you like it or not. Dad! Oh, I'm so glad to see you. You. My little girl. Why, father, you're wet. Why, so he is. He's been working awful hard. Reckon he fell in the creek. He's all tuckered out. That's it. I'm all tuckered out. Well, you just come right in the house and rest. You 
Gee, I've been working so hard, honey. Well, I'll take care of you now, Dad. Oh, I forgot, Marion. This is my partner, Jack. Why, we've met already. So? Goodbye. I'll be down with Dad. Well, I'll be expecting you. Telling you things about me, eh? Trying to turn my daughter again me after cheating me out of half my claim. Why, what do you mean? This claim was mine. I picked it out legal and proper. When along comes this feller and files on it, and, and I had to give in to him. Did he threaten you? That's it. He took advantage of your old dad. It's all right. Carrot's working alone. Good. And the old man must be up at the cabin. You wait here and watch for my signal. Okay. All this hard work has run me down. <coughs> you know how my lungs are. I just had to have a little liquor to keep going. I'm glad I came in time, Dad. You know, nobody knows all the trouble I've been through. Come on in, Mr. Kramer. Thank you. This is my daughter. Well, I'm glad to know you, Miss Sellers. How do you do? I just dropped in to see if you still want to sell your half of that claim. That is, if that partner of yours isn't around to interfere. Mr. Kramer knows how I've been swindled. Yes, and you're liable to continue to be swindled. Not if I have anything to say about it. Well, I'm glad you feel that way about it. You see, I knew this Tarrant back in the Panamint country, and he's not to be trusted. But I promise you, sir, if you sell out to me, I'll put a man in charge of that claim who can handle this cowpuncher. $3,000 was the figure, wasn't it? Yes, sir. That's what I'm willing to pay. Take it, Dad. Then we can leave here. I want to get away. All right. I'll, I'll take it. All right, sir. Right here. Will you witness it, Miss Marion?
I'd suggest that you put that money in the bank for safety. We're heading for town just as soon as I've taken my half of the dust. It's gone. He's taken it all. I'll go down and get it, Dad. Why, no, Miss. I don't know, I... honey. I've got a few things I want to say to him myself. I want to see his face when I tell him that I've sold the claim. Excuse me. I, I think I'll pass. Yes. Just someone out hunting, maybe. It's Dad. Something has happened to him. Over. That way. I'll go get him. You're staying here. Come stay with us for a few days, dear. Oh, thank you. But I'd rather be alone for a while. I wouldn't stay in that cabin alone, Miss Marion. Parent is liable to return. I'd like to meet him. I'll put some men on guard, Miss Ellers. You don't have to worry. Oh, thank you.
Miss Marion. You murderer. No, miss. I never killed your father. I liked him. Doggone if I didn't. With all his fussing and cussing. Why, he was just like a little shaver. Always wanting his own way. But I guess there ain't much use talking about anything like that. Now. Don't go. Maybe I've been hasty in my judgment. I'm glad, Miss Marion, because I'd hate to have you think anything like that about me. Well, uh, what are you going to do now? I'm going to stick around here till I catch your dad's murder. Do you know who he is? Well, no, Miss Marion, but it always strikes me kind of strange that every miner that sells out to Kramer is murdered and then robbed. I've got the murderer. So you expected to fool me like you did my poor dad. See what kind of a story you can tell a sheriff's man. Well done. Laughing water. Ain't there no go nuggets on my claim? G gosh. Little I got away. So you heard about the killing? Sure, but I know that you, that you didn't do it. Gee, I wish they all felt that way about it, Elmer. But I think I know who did it, and you've got to help me prove it. You can, you can, you rely on me. All right, come on, sit down. Now here's what you got to do. Okay. Tomorrow morning, over in my cabin. Why did Tarrant sell you his half of the claim? Uh, he, he needed more uh, money. Oh, for a getaway, I suppose. Aren't you afraid to carry all that money around? Uh, no, no I, I ain't afraid. 
I'm going home now. I'll take this into town in the mo morning. Well, I'll be running along. Goodbye, Miss Marion. Goodbye. Mr. Tegmuller. Goodbye. Where is he? I mean, Jack. Why, I, uh, 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 I know that he's waiting somewhere for you to bring that money to him. That's right, isn't it? Sure you're a good friend of his? You, you won't turn him over to the sheriff, will you? Why, Mr. Stegmuller, how can you say that? You know I'm a good friend of, of Jack. Gosh, that's, that's fine. I told him you'd believe in him. Yes, but, but where is he? Well, it, he, he'll be at my place at 10 tonight to get this money. And, and then he's going to cl clear out of, out, of, out of the country in the morning. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I guess I better be going. Goodbye. Good night. This buzzard Stig Muller is just a sap, and you'll find him alone up at his cabin. Now well, come on, boys, we'll buy a drink. Nothing like a little liquor to give a man an appetite for a good night's work. Well, see you later. Go on, boy. Long ride. Come on, boy. Good luck, fellas. Went through the window. Looks like the boss went with him. Imagine what happened to Kramer. Why, it's downright mysterious. I ain't worried about that. I'm a thinking it's time to get going. Well, if anything's happened, though, the strip might be just a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll drive the buckboard into, into town right away. 
Now you're getting sense. There's a crowd in there. Hey, how about bringing back a quarter red eye? Yes. Going into town. We'll get them on the way. Great. So he's still around, eh? Are you sure about that, ma'am? Of course I'm sure. Karen's going to be at Seg Mueller's cabin tonight at 10 to get the money. Well, don't forget that. Get some boys ready for the party. Oh, and a part from his cellar. I reckon you'd like to be there when he's captured. I certainly would. Well, we won't waste any time with him this time. Going to do to me. Heimer, we're just trying out something. If you're on the level, you're in no danger. Well, what do you mean? I mean that you're going to take a ride, wearing Elmer's hat and coat. <laughs> this will be all right, right here. Elmer. That shooting is in the canyon, Sheriff. Kramer's men, Sheriff. And that's fake Moe's rig.
All right, boys. Put them up. Here's Sage Mueller. Well, who's that down there? Why, that was an accident. It was not. It's Kramer, and his men shot him. They thought that he was Elmer. Yeah, they, they thought it was me. And they murdered old man Dolan. And, and, and Jeff Sellers, too. And they tried to blame it on, on Jack. But Kramer wasn't so smart. I fooled him. All right, man. Let's take him to town. When they get all through with this bull foolishness, we'll have our ranch right in here. And the line will run along that ridge, down to the creek. <laughs> 